Hello friends, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. Last day we discussed about the callback function. In this video, we are going to discuss about the conditional clause, right? So, what is actually conditional clause and why we use this and what is the purpose actually? Actually, conditional clause are used to perform different actions based on different condition. Let's say one example. Suppose in a school annual course, uh, there is uh, two groups uh, like uh, suppose there is an event where only uh, those participants will uh, participate where age is under uh, 10 or there is another group their age is more than 10. So how we can determine actually. So this is the condition and we need to implement that logic into our code so how we can do this simply if you want to think about conditional clause actually only there is two things either we can participate or we can't right so here is the logic there is if condition and here we need to write our condition so if this condition is true we will write this logic here so true logic will be here otherwise the else part else part is not mandatory if you not write else part it will okay means it will run the application and else part is something if i want to write any statement where condition is not true that is actually we can say the false part or false logic part okay so false part means suppose i have a, a, my age is suppose uh, 15 okay so let's say uh, my age equal to uh, 15 now i want to say one thing so as i said if my age is more than 10 i can participate or you can uh, write in a statement that you are under uh, you are above uh, 10 right so let's uh, write console dot log and simply write you are above 10 okay so this is the condition so simply i am not writing else but right now because i said these else are uh, not um, mandatory so if you write or if you refresh this you can see you are above 10 yes my age is 15 now if i write here age 5 then if you refresh we are not getting anything because this condition is false right right now if i use the else part means if i write uh, these things you are under 10 okay that time you will get okay means if my condition is true it will be the true part otherwise it is the false part great this is actually the conditional clause right and here we have a multiple conditions means there i introduced another a uh, group of participant means suppose uh, someone age is uh, more than 10 they can participate one event if the age is between 5 to 10 then uh, they can participate another event or if less than 5 then they can participate another event so based on that if i write logic so age is 10 so you are above 10 in this way if i can write else if condition okay so there will be the same kind of condition this is the else if condition so inside if we can write the else if condition okay so if this part is condition is okay that means it will execute if these are not okay then it will go to the next uh, part means the else if part so in this way if there is a multiple else if part so it will actually traverse it will actually check the logic whether this condition is true or not if no condition is uh, true that time it will uh, print the else logic or it will run the else logic part right now here i write another things if age is um less than five okay then i can write some things 
so your age is something right so you are below um, below 5 great so if age is more than 10 so you are above 10 and if age is uh, less than 5 you are below 10 so what is the condition uh, here so if the age is more than not more than 10 and not below 10 means you are under um, you um, you are under um, 5 to 10 okay so here my age is 5 so just refresh you are under 5 to 10 okay so let's say if I write uh, here 6 so you can say here you are under 5 to 10 if you uh, write your age is 15 that means you are above 10 right so in this way you can uh, create your logic right so this is the if else condition now here i am going to add another condition suppose if your age means i am using the uh, conditional clause along with the conditional operators or the you know, operator concept right so i just going to write if age is um, more than 5 and age less than 10 that time i just going to print something or i need to declare the age actually so simply let age equal to um, anything uh, like 8 okay and here i just uh, going to print console dot log and just write here you are between 5 to 10 or 10 and let's else uh, console dot log uh, then you are not in range you are not in range means here my condition is if age is uh, between 5 to 10 they can attend the event and otherwise you are not under range so simply my age is 8 and refresh so you are between 5 to 10 so if i just write here 18 so you are not in the range and if my age is below 5 means 4 then also you are not in range okay here one thing i just need to say means here my age is 5 okay and i just going to attend the event so here you can say you are not in range because your age between 5 to 10 so here my condition is age is greater than 5 so that means not 5 it's greater than 5 so i can write here greater than equal to that means if my age is 5 or more than 5 i can participate or if my age is 10 and less than 10 i can participate so if you just write 5 here you can say invalid label oh sorry um, the equal will be here sorry and now just refresh this so you are between 5 to 10 so if your age is 10 now if i just write here 10 so still you will participate but when you will get the age is 11 then you cannot participate means you are not in range so this is overall uh, condition clause concept actually this is the fundamental feature of uh, javascript that enable you to create more flexible and dynamic code right so by using condition clause you can execute defined code blocks based on defined conditions and create more complex logic by combination of if else right so by combination of this condition so this is all about if else and uh, still if you have any queries about this video you can comment me in the below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about another conditional things means we are going to discuss about the switch case statement right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye